So here we have my Apple Watch with an Apple Watch band and the Robust Goods, uh, whatever it is, T2 watch band. You can see here, you know, connections are nice and tight. There's no gaps, no nothing. They are, you know, locked in. Uh, I push a button, it releases it. Great, it's kind of the way it should work. You know, same thing on this side, locked in. Push the button, slides out, works well, you know, all that. Here we have the watch band. Looks pretty good. Little scratches and stuff already on it. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna slide this into place here. Slides in. doesn't lock in in any way shape or form I can try to you know get it lined up right wiggle it it just doesn't want to slide it doesn't want to lock in it, no matter what I do I can't get it to stay in and if you look it's a pretty poor fit you know the connectors aren't great and of course, you know, sliding it out a couple times, it's already messed up the band. I can only imagine what's going to happen to the bottom of the band. But every once in a while, it'll kind of stick that way, but then it doesn't. And I am sure not putting this on my wrist and run the risk of losing my watch because of some band. I mean, $60, $70 for a band, this thing should uh, should be almost perfect. Again, same thing on this side, you know, poor fitting. You know, it doesn't, doesn't lock in like it should at all. Kind of catches there, but it does, doesn't stay in. Tried doing it, slide it when I'm pulling, slide it when I'm pushing. I read some articles online about how oh, you need to flex it towards the inside. You need to like flex it like this real tight and push them in, but I they don't. It seems like the tolerances just aren't there, which is a real disappointment considering the the, the cost of this thing. So, um, looking to get money back on this. It's it's not worth the price you pay. It's definitely so. There we go. That's the review.